Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. Guys, can I just tell you I am so exhausted right now and I was like, Michelle, you need to film this video. So here I am filming this video. I'm really excited. just so exhausted. Anyways guys, I've been thinking, I want to have some, like a name for you guys, like name for you guys who are watching my videos. So I really don't like saying hey guys all the time, although I'm pretty used to saying it, I've been saying it for a long time. But I want to say something different, and I was talking to my husband and he said, oh you should call them Claire Bears. So <laughs> comment down below and let me know what you guys think about it, because I think I want to try it out. I think it's kind of cute. This video is going to be kind of like a how to start a YouTube channel, except it's the things that they don't tell you about starting a YouTube channel. These are five things that I can think of that I wish that I had known. So, if you guys are interested to know the real truths and the struggles of starting a YouTube channel, keep watching. The first thing that I have is that YouTube takes a lot of time. YouTube will take up what it seems like your whole life. So, you know, it seems easy, like I'll film a video and then I'll put it up and it seems really simple. Hmm. No, there's the planning out of your videos, getting supplies that you need for videos, sitting down and filming videos, sitting down, finding the perfect time to film. Once you film, it's sitting down and editing, which honestly takes a long time. It is not like wham bam, the video's up, everybody's viewing it and it's fantastic. No, I like to leave myself two days to edit because I just don't like to have to sit down and do it. And it's not just editing that, it's editing the thumbnail, it's filling out your description box, it's thinking of what you're gonna do for your tags, it's a whole lot. And especially when you have certain days that you wanna upload on, depending on how many videos you're doing, it, it can be a lot of work to try and cram into maybe one day. And spreading it over two days, like it's just really hard. Hard to like balance it. So it takes a ton of time. The second thing they don't tell you about starting a YouTube channel, it can be so hard, it can be frustrating, it can be disappointing when you spend all that time that I just talked about making a video and then you post it and you're sitting there looking at it, zero views one view and you're like that one view is my mom like <laughs> it can be so disheartening when you upload that video that you spent time prepping that you spent money to buy supplies that you spent the time to film to edit to upload and then you see you get like five views on that video like that is a struggle and definitely something that they don't talk about when they talk about how to start a YouTube channel. And maybe that's because, you know what, these YouTubers that are uploading these kinds of videos are a little bit more successful. They have maybe like 20,000 plus subscribers, right? So maybe they're not thinking back to when they first started their channel, but honestly, it can be so hard to keep going when you spend all that time and you put up that video and you get like basically no views. I, my advice on that is to just keep going. You're doing it because you love it. You're doing it because it's fun. It's a creative outlet for you. And so just keep going because eventually somebody is going to find one of your videos that they're going to love and they are going to subscribe to you and you'll just kind of grow your channel. Third thing that they don't tell you is that it is hard to make connections, to build relationships, friendships on YouTube because there is this whole sub for sub culture where everybody just wants to subscribe to you so you can subscribe to them or you comment on their video, they comment on yours, like for like and all of that. Like that culture is so huge because all people wanna see is the number of subscribers increase which I can say as a small YouTuber is a really awesome thing and you love it. But to do that and have people who have that number and these people don't really want to watch your videos or they aren't watching your videos, it doesn't matter. If you have 15,000 subscribers and your video has one view, it's really not that beneficial for you. And unfortunately, there are a lot of people out there where all they care about is the number and everybody is just sub for sub. So it's hard to build genuine, make genuine connections when everybody is just concerned about how many subscribers they have. 
So as much as they say make YouTube friends and like be in the community and collaborate, it's really hard to find people who genuinely want to do that can be difficult. The fourth thing is that starting a YouTube channel can be stressful. It can be stressful trying to figure out how consistent do I need to be, what kind of equipment am I going to have, how do I deal with my lighting, how do I balance my time, um, because you're balancing your job, your family, whatever it is. Um, is this video going to be good? What is the reaction that I'm going to get? Is anybody going to like it? Is anybody going to comment? It can be stressful and sometimes it does feel like a job. I know people say it's a hobby, do it because you love it. And you do, but you want to do your best at it just like any other hobby you have, except that this is a hobby that is seen worldwide. Anybody in the world who has access to a computer and the internet is able to log on and see your hobby and judge it and all these things. So. It's not like I'm gonna take up a hobby and my hobby is like gardening. Who cares if anybody sees it? Who cares if my plants even grow that well? That's just for me. But this is a hobby that is not just for you, it's also for the whole world. So it can be stressful because you do wanna do your best and you want it to be the best quality, best content, and it sometimes does feel like a job. And my fifth thing that they don't tell you is that you having a YouTube channel can be hard to balance with the rest of your life which goes in with causing stress they don't tell you that sometimes you just have to give up going out with friends or you have to give up certain time to relax in the after like after work it can take a toll and you really have to know how to balance and you have to know when to kind of have that give and take that is it those are my five top five things I would say that they don't tell you about starting a YouTube channel that is important to know if you want to start one don't let this stop you just go into it knowing all the information I also wanted to mention before I go I have started a new series called motivational Mondays where I kind of do a quote of the week to kind of kind of keep you guys going and inspire people and encourage people in life and another thing that I'm doing with those videos is that I will be shouting out other small youtubers channels so make sure to check out that video I will leave it linked up here and in the description box and I will be doing that for well the foreseeable future thank you guys so much for watching that's it for this video if you liked it give it a thumbs up don't forget to subscribe to my channel and I will see you guys next time. Bye! Last time I thought I'd try something that I felt would be maybe a little bit healthier, give me a little bit more of a variety in terms of really healthy items. This is the box that it comes in.